way. Now that it has popped up, put on whatever you want and enjoy. Okay, so well, now we're going to do something different, a little bit different. Keep and turn all these exactly backwards. Let's see. Uh, what are you cooking, John? Uh, mm, chicken with mushroom gravy. Chicken with mushroom gravy. That sounds. Is that American? I guess. I suppose. Like an American family meal. I'm going to go Vietnamese today. We're both cooking out of the uh, Home Chef repertoire. And uh, I'm going Vietnamese. This is called uh, Pork Banh Mi Bull, which is completely wrong. Because Banh Mi is supposed to be a sandwich. <laughs> and it's, Banh Mi actually means uh, bread. It's a certain type of bread. It's actually um, French bread, the, the baguette. If you've ever seen the baguette, that's, that's what banh mi is. It was introduced back in the colonial period of Vietnam's existence. And uh, so anyway, uh, but this is called the pork banh mi bowl. So it should be a bread bowl is what it should be. But that's not what they did here. Uh, but I won't, I won't knock it anymore. I won't say anything else bad about it. Just the name's not right, okay? This is... This is, we could just call this a Vietnamese pork meal. Uh, pork and rice. Uh, you, you, something like that. I don't know. I ain't read the instructions yet. Right there they are. John's already well, cooking. Must have caught uh, devil meat. So you, you told him what you're doing here, John? Well, no, you haven't given me a chance. Well, you better start talking. Uh, well, I'm, right now I'm just trimming the ends off the green beans. And the way they have us cook these green beans all the time is fry them. Or not fry them, but bake them. And they're just so tough doing that. So even though it's against their recipe, it's probably against the rules, it probably ain't going to be good enough for us, I'm going to boil them. Try to soften them up. Oh, you really know what you're doing. Now, throughout this video, there'll be a lot of places where we're both doing something completely different and talking about it. And it's going to be confusing, and it's probably going to make y'all really pissed off and angry. That's kind of what we're trying to do. <laughs> um, this is for people who are, you know, a sucker for punishment. What kind of meat am I supposed to have? If you're doing a pork meal, I'd say pork. Ground pork. Yeah, but there's different kinds of pork. Oh, sorry. Hey, I gotta find it. Now what are you doing, John? Huh? Now what are you doing? I'm still cutting the ends off the green beans. You know, that makes our meals a lot simpler if they do this for us. Yeah. But then it wouldn't be, you know, you wouldn't be learning how to cook, right? Well, that's supposed to help you learn. Beans ain't cooking. What? Cutting the ends off of green beans is not cooking. That is preparing food. Don't you want to be an expert food preparer? So, here it is. Here's the ground pork. Came with the meal. All right. I'm going to go over here and cook in this little space right here. John's cooking over there. My meal, my bag, came with uh, jasmine rice. Uh, I think it says 8.6 ounces. Uh Let's see, we we'll have some carrots. Look at that, they already grated the carrots for it. Oh, wow. How the thing, it looked like a carrots? cucumber. Is that a cucumber? They what didn't is do it? my beans, but they did your carrots. Yeah, they don't like me more. Yeah. 
two, three, three Persian cucumbers. So I guess it has to be from Persia. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, oh, here's a um, quarter ounce of cilantro. Uh, ooh, some chopped ginger. So you know that's going to taste Asian. That's a, ta a tablespoon of chopped ginger. A teaspoon of Asian ginger, garlic, and chili rub. So it's a teaspoon of Asian seasoning. Uh, ooh, teriyaki glaze. And, uh, oh, how much is that? Two fluid ounces. And one fluid ounce of seasoned rice vinegar. All right. Which does not make good deviled eggs. Don't try that. That was a terrible mistake. But Long John Silver's uh, uh, corn malt vinegar is very good. Makes very good deviled eggs. You got to have vinegar in your deviled eggs or you ain't really eating deviled eggs. <laughs> I don't know. Let me just tell you. <laughs> What are you doing over there, John? I'm still cutting green beans. No. Okay, let's see here. Bring a small pot with rice and one cup of water to a boil over high heat. Reduce to a simmer, cover, and cook until tender, which will take about 20 minutes. And uh, then we'll remove from the burner and set it aside. And while it cooks, we'll be preparing the ingredients. That's, I read that straight off of the thing. Plagiarism all the way. <laughs> Pan. Sometimes these things don't open very easily. Rice. Cutting the cheese all day, too. <laughs> Trim the cucumbers. Burp. Half lengthwise. And cut into uh, quarter inch half moons on an angle. What the hell? It's them and coarsely chopped cilantro. What the hell? Oh, it could have said that a lot easier. Okay, so here's what we do. We're going to clean it up first under the water. I did a good cleaning. Very good. I need a cutting board. You got an extra one? Could be right one in the Aha! Uh -huh. Cutting board. I need a knife. Oh, I got the good one. I'm going to take the ends off of these things. You know we'll both be talking at the same time. Through a lot of this. Not me. Not until I'm done with these green beans. These are boring. Man. So uh, then you cut them in half. Cut the ends off. Cut them in half. Cut the ends off, cut them in half, we have three done, and then you're going to quarter them lengthwise. I don't know why they said it the way they said it. Yeah. I'm going to half them lengthwise first. Okay, 
Okay, next thing we're going to cut our mushrooms. And then I'll turn them on and quarter them. We have mushrooms. We're going to cut them up into quarter pieces. The size of quarter? The size of quarters. That's what it says, quarter pieces. I'm going to make dime. Dime be there. So we went to Wally World. Logo. Yeah, I went to Wally World. Guess what they had? Nothing. Everything except what we was looking for. They didn't have any kind there. No kind of garbage disposal. Not an expensive one. Not a cheap one. Not a brass one, steel one, or plastic one. Not a one. So we looked up and we found that Home Depot had one for only $58. Uh, no, no, no. $74. It was $74. No, that wasn't Home Depot. That was... Uh... Oh, that other Ace. Store. Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware, yeah. Okay, so it was Ace. Well, I don't know why. I decided, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go home and cook to the clubhouse. Home to the clubhouse and cook instead. And uh, so that's what we did. And I'm going to order it from Walmart. Get the $58 one they have. So, what is it? No, it's Home Depot has the fifty-eight dollars. Sixty-eight. No, Home Depot has fifty-eight dollars. I know, but sixty-eight Walmart. But I can still oh, I can still order it from Home Depot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it don't matter who you order it from, right? Oh. Ah, all right. Oh, we got some, we got some frying going on here. Oh, good. Now they say to never stir your rice. I'm gonna tell you again, break the rules. You stir your rice. But you can never go around the bowl more than twice. You do that while it's boiling. Like that. And then. You want to turn the heat way down to a very low simmer. Put the top on there. Here's my phone. You know, I, I do that. Hey Siri, give me a 20 minute timer. Your timer is set for 20 minutes. A lot of times she gets lippy with me. I don't know why. Okay, next we're going to mint some rosemary. Oh, rosemary, eh? Rosemary. You remember rosemary? Oh, yeah. I remember Rosie. Remember that one time she was Maddie? Rosie's not very, 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 very much. But you can ACDC things about Rosie. They got a whole lot of Rosie. Yeah. So now I'm going to stem the cilantro. This has got to be almost as good as Pug One's arts and crafts videos. But, when Bug farts, you can barely tell. When John farts, you'll smell it. I don't care where you're at. Even on YouTube? Oh, even on, I don't care where you're at. It, that's that bad. It, you'll know because everybody in the house will start passing out. <laughs> Disgusting is what it is. Did it say to coarsely chop this or mince it? Can't remember.
sure. Sure is quiet in here. Yeah, it goes from being really loud to really quiet. Yeah, that's the way we are. We got uh, something to say, we say it, and we shut up. Stem and coarsely chop. Cilantro. Okay. Well, coarsely chopping is easy. I'm going to go a little bit finer than coarse. I like my cilantro chopped up kind of fine. Or even minced. In most meals. Maybe I'm not Vietnamese enough. I don't know. Very little Vietnamese in me. I don't know if you can tell by looking. chop and I'm going to do the same thing one more time. It's still not going to be fine. But... You having fun, John? Yeah. Pickle the veggies. We got to pickle the veggies, John. Pickle the veggies? All right. What do they drink? I don't know. They are really pickled. I don't know what happened to the little mixing bowl. I'll have to use this for medium. Right oh. oh, John stole my mixing bowl. Okay, so. I wonder if we're still alive. It says we are. Okay. Um, add cucumber. And, uh, by the way, uh, this is what they look like. Halved and quartered. Like that. I'm going to throw them in a mixing bowl. Like that. Got a few more. Let's throw them in there. Like so. <laughs> and then, uh, matchstick carrots, which is just grated carrots. Uh, Got to have a fancy name for everything. Maybe that's what they call them in Vietnam. Is that what they call them, a nom, John? I don't know. I don't know. I had to uh, stop. I touched the chicken. Ew! So I had to wash my hands. Chicken toucher. And then plus I dropped the knife on the floor. Ah! So I washed it too. Just to let Here you comes know. the health department. Just to guys, let you guys know you heard the water running, that's why. Okay, hey, we're going to put the uh, seasoned got... rice vinegar in here. I've and got a little bit breasts. of salt. I'm gonna add the salt. And what I'm doing and is putting pepper on, on, on the chicken breast. Talking about things and at the same time. Uh, yeah, same time talking. Talking about things. Yeah, just a pinch of salt. Yeah. Pinch of salt. I'm trying to talk a camera, John. We're just going to do like this. This just smells like someone throwed up, ate it, and then took a poop in this bowl and added some vinegar. That's what it smells like. That's pretty much your Vietnamese food. <laughs> no, no, it's not that bad, folks. Trust me. All right, so there you go. Looks like that. Just carrots okay, and I'm going to let the green, cucumbers. green beans are on the stove and the water boiling. Oh, I'm going to let them boil a little bit, then I'm going to dump them out and strain off the water. Then we'll put them on the baking pan. I'm hoping by boiling them, we'll make them softer because they're usually hard like fresh green beans, but they ain't even been cooked. So I'm hoping I can make them a little softer by boiling them first. make much for you you got to do the dish. So I got to brown the uh, the ground pork which is uh, going to take a little while because it's frozen. Just kind of thawing 
out, getting ready to bust it up. Then we'll fry it. Just brown it. Nice and brown. John's got a back hernia. Okay, I'm gonna put me a pan on the stove since Keith's trying to hog all the cookeries. That one don't work. There's only three burners that work. No, it's gotta work. Gotta light it, right? You might, you maybe you can light it. I don't know. He gonna blow us all to hell. Goodbye, folks. It was nice knowing you. What y'all making today? I'm late to the show. Hey, that's Ruger Girl. How you doing? Uh, John's making, what are you making? Uh, gravy something? Chicken with mushroom gravy. Yeah, chicken with mushroom. And I'm making um, Vietnamese pork. It's called bon mi, a bon mi bowl, but that's wrong because a bon mi bowl is actually a bread bowl. And it's not a bread bowl. It's just, I don't know, misnamed or something. I don't know. But anyway, that bothers me. These little details bother me. <coughs> Yummy. Yeah. It's not going to be too bad. You're welcome to come and have some if you want to. Especially you. What are you doing down there? What are you doing? Why is your face on the stove? What in the... Keep him for trouble watching. I left my lighter? lighter in the van. Well, go get it. <laughs> Surely you can't be lazy to walk 25 feet to get a lighter. Yes. Yeah, I'm that lazy. It's funny, the things I will do and the things I won't do. You ever think of that? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I gotta wait for your meat to get done. Or something. Because that burner won't light. It lights, but it goes right out. Really? Yeah. What'd you do to it? I didn't do nothing. Well, I what cooked. do you got to cook? I got to cook the chicken. Well, go ahead and do it, because I'm just thawing mine right now. You're just thawing it? It's frozen. Well, I guess so. everything is. You didn't take them out of the stove. I didn't know he was going to have a cooking mayhem chaos you know, cooking you today. You know what we're going to do Mayhem way meal we chaos do. cooking today. You know what we're going to do way before we even started. We did this last year. And okay, I put a little Ruger bit of olive going, oil. How'd you answer my question? A little bit of olive oil <laughs> in my pan. How much olive oil is that? That is, uh... Looks like a quarter cup. No. Oh, how much I put in? Yeah. Probably two to three teaspoons. Oh, I look like a quarter cup. Oh, quarter cup my butt. That'd been the whole thing. He's deep frying something. No, I'm not deep frying nothing. I'm going to sear the juices in a chicken. Now, olive oil is good for you. Until it gets up to like 410 degrees or something like that. No, it's, I, I forget. When it gets hot, it breaks down and then it's bad for you. Just like every other kind of oil. Or, or, or. They'll try to sell you grapeseed oil and all different kinds. All oil is bad once it gets hot enough to deep fry something. <laughs> Now, motor oil might be all right. Yeah, motor oil is good for you. If that don't work, you can try transmission fluid. Well, while Give I'm, everything a nice red color. While I'm cooking the chicken, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut up this jalapeno pepper. Jalapeno! Or jalapeno. Yeah, might be a pain, yo. Pain in somebody's go. That was dumb. I quit. I'm quitting YouTube after this video. Again? I'm burning it down. After I follow these papers, I'm going to burn this place down. Whenever you're using a 
pepper, no matter what kind, leave the seeds in it. And that gives you a great taste. Keith loves the seeds. Yeah, I like to plant the seeds and make more. And if you look over there in the window, you'll see where I've been starting my tomato plants already. Um, I've tried to start some pepper plants, and they don't seem to want to start. I thought maybe they were just a little dormant, but they actually don't seem very good. And like they're just not going to grow. So today we put new seeds in, starting over again. Wasn't today, it was last night. Last night, yeah, I got it all at the same time, you know, I don't know man. Life was two days long for me. What's cutting now? Pepper. Again? No, I'm still cutting it. How many are you gonna cut? Just the one. Just don't want great big pieces, do you? Now you are going to put some uh, powdered uh, Yeah, in. yeah, in time, in time. Jeez! Guys, it winds and carries on continuously. Aww. Now I used my knife to move the chicken, which is still raw. Worship it all. Worship? Worship. With okay. water. Worship with water. Tomorrow he'll go to church to wash it. But right now he's got to worship. <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. You go laughing. Hey, wait. The paper's still on that chicken. No, it ain't. I think it is. It is. It is. I just have to see that. <laughs> it ain't now. Why does this chicken taste like paper? <laughs> that had been a good thing to eat, and you're eating your chicken? Well, at least you're getting some fiber. Like, why does that taste like paper? That's the way we wanted it. That's how they do it. And I don't know. Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> okay, we're still cooking at that. This is on my back. <sighs> it hurts when I breathe. You alright? Yeah. I just, this morning I was reaching backward and I'm pink. Hold a muscle or something. Oh, you should stop that. It hurt. It hurt. I tell you. That's a big joint. <laughs> oh, we ate once today already. Twice, actually. Mm -hmm. We had uh, leftover chili from the last uh, Mayhem cooking video. And uh, it was good, but we finished it all up. And two great big pots, gone. Uh, let's see, then uh, we uh, had uh, Junior Whoppers at uh, uh, Burger King here when we was out looking for uh, uh, garbage disposal. Keaton had the Chicken McNuggets instead. He doesn't like Whoppers. He's afraid they're going to put uh, mayonnaise or something more on my thing. Okay, when I cook chicken, I always use this to make sure I get the right temperature so we don't get gangrene or something. I don't know. Gangrene? Gangrene? Gangrene of the tongue. Or whatever it has yeah. in chicken. We don't want it. Well, something we just made up. What's in this, man? What? That is ground pork that's still frozen. Uh, 
I'm waiting for John to get done frying. It looks like a warm day outside, but oh, it. it's really cold. Wait a minute. Aren't you cooking? Oh, you're putting that in the... I gotta bake it. No. Oh, you just gotta bake it? Sear a little bit. You've said that probably and I missed it. So we're going for a thick piece of chicken. Stick the old probe in her. We're going to set this thing for an hour and 15 years. No, 100 and, uh, 170 degrees. That's too hot. 165 is what they recommend. I like to go five over. I think it's going to burn your tongue. If they say 165, I'm doing 170. That's just me. I'm, I'm that way. I do the same thing, but I only go. Okay, I'm going to drain all the water off these here greeny beans. There we go. Drain the water off the green beans. Got to place them here on the pan with the chicken. Oh, don't that look beautiful? Who are you cooking the chicken? Cook on me! Oh, you got there. What are you doing now? I've been telling them, don't worry. I just wondered. John. You don't beans. care if I don't know what's going on here? Green beans John. and chicken. Okay, we're gonna put. Uh, I don't understand what you're doing. We're gonna put some olive oil on it and salt and pepper. Okay. A little olive oil, salt, and pepper. Which I don't see what. Uh oh, uh oh, rice is done. Uh oh, your phone's almost dead. Well, my phone's almost dead, folks. You got some more you're cooking, Dad. Uh oh, 15% battery remaining. I got, I got a charger, don't worry. Keaton's coming to the rescue with a charger. So here's the rice. Let's take a peek. Oh, that looks good. That's good rice. Mm -hmm. I hope it's done because I think John turned the burner off when he was over here playing. No, I didn't. Uh, I think you did. The burner, the, the burner was off. Well, I was messing with the other one. So the rice might be a little tough. Well, I wasn't standing here. I was messing with this one. I wasn't standing here. Okay. That's what it's like to have a brother. Now it's in the oven. We gotta bake it till the I temperature comes up. And while that's cooking, baking, or whatever it's doing, we're going to make the. Uh, the gravy. Dad, why is no one watching us? Huh? Why is no one watching us? Why Nobody's we... watching? Uh huh. Not even Ruger Girl? Are you watching Ruger Girl? <laughs> hey, Ruger Girl. <laughs> Are you there? Comment something, Ruger Girl. Okay, we're gonna put about a teaspoon of olive oil in there using the same pan we used to cook the chicken. Come on, we're basically giving you salads when you sound like your name. And we're going to add mushrooms. Here's the mushrooms. It's hot over here. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm getting more pepped off by the minute. Let's see if anyone watching my live stream. Rosemary. You got a live stream going? I'm going to. I'm going to say, no wonder it's the slow. Rosemary in there. No, I said, I'm going to. No. Oh, the artist done? 
Don't worry, yours at all. We want to try ours at the end. We could end ours and start yours. Why? I don't know. Who cares? Nobody's watching anyway. Okay, we're going to let this brown for a couple minutes. I oh, I have to congratulate OG Gruwell. Why? He hit like uh, 25,000 views or something like that. Yeah? Yeah. Congratulations. Guess how much I got? Five. Three. Three thousand. Oh, congratulations, Caden. Yeah. <laughs> we would talk about ours, but we can't count that high. It's in the millions. 300 and some thousand. I don't know how much exactly. Okay, we're going to throw our jalapeno pippas in there too. Going to cook them a little. Time I breathe, it hurts. You need to go to hospital? No, 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 no. We're going to cook these for uh, probably, I think it said like a couple minutes. Yeah, two to three minutes. Camera, I, I don't know where the phone, the camera, this, this is camera. Okay. I'm we're going to, now we're going to add, what the heck? Why are you always adding shit? We're going <laughs> to add Sherry, you know Sherry? Yeah, Sherry, Sherry from Cross Street there. Well, we're going to add Sherry. <laughs> She's nice. The one that always cries? Yeah, the one that always cries. We knew a Sherry that used to cry constantly. <laughs> that was like her favorite hobby. Get on the phone and cry. Um, I don't like know. Not really bear or something. I don't know. Now we'll just kind of stir it up a little bit. Wait for that Sherry to thicken a little. I'm still brown in the... The uh, oh, pork... Which is now thawed, but not yet brown. Who is this guy? The lady in the... Is he talking to me? Yeah. What? He's a, who is this lady in the wall? That's your gran that's, great grandma. That's your great grandma. That's my grandma. Her name was Marguerite. So this is my dad. Marguerite. This is my great grandma. His name was Arlington. <coughs> now I'm still stirring the uh, mushrooms, rosemary. We got one viewer. 
jalapeno peppers with the sherry. <coughs> Wait, who's the viewer on your channel or ours? Yours. I'm not doing a live stream. I thought you were doing a live stream. I was recording. Oh. Well, if you go over to Keaton's channel a little bit later, once he uploads, uh, you'll see the uh, our grandma Marguerite, a picture of her, and and our father Arlington, a picture of him standing by a car that he made it by himself. He all made it out of scrap freaking metal mainly. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Well, yeah. Aluminum, aluminum. He used uh, set of pliers and a ball peen hammer mainly. It was yeah, did it all himself. By himself out in the yard, took him two years. It's still around somewhere. I don't know where our fourth plate went. Probably in the fridge. Something's probably That's in just it. stupid. Probably put them in a plastic bowl. Need to get in the granny bowl. Need to put them in the granny bowl. See, now you ain't got enough dishes for two poor meals. Now you ain't got enough dishes. <laughs> Okay, right now we're waiting for the chicken to get done, and I'm looking at the temperature and wondering, is it going to get done? The temperature says low. Shouldn't it say something? No, it should, yeah, it should give you something. I think your battery's low, maybe. You think that's what it is? What kind of battery does it take? I got some fresh batteries. Uh, looks like triple A. Uh, use this camera. It's got brand new batteries in it. Just use a camera instead. Point it at that. Let's see if it tells you the temperature. Triple A. We have a ready. No, no, I said triple A's. That is triple A's, dumbass. Are, oh, Double okay. A's are bigger than triple A's. Okay, they looked bigger when I was looking. Oh, don't throw them on the floor. Don't throw them on the floor. I gotta put them in here. How many you need? Two? It's a Jazz Video Recorder HD. It's a DV140. Um, I don't know who makes it. Jazz, I guess. It's from probably Walmart. Uh, it's not that great a camera. It's not that great a picture. Um, but, you know, when you when you need a backup, you're happy to have anything. So, that's what it is. It's a cheap backup camera. If you're just getting started in the vlogging or... Or what not, you just want to get started, try it out, maybe start a YouTube channel and see how uh, how you can do. It's a great camera to get started with. But uh, then if you decide you like doing it and you want to do some decent videos, you're probably going to want to get something a little bit better. You can pick one of those up for like 25, 30 bucks. Yeah. Uh, you know what, I'll put a link if I remember down there in a the crankcase. Put something in the current case. <laughs> okay. We are going to put the ginger and the Asian seasoning rub into this pan along with the, the uh, what's that called? Pork, ground pork. It's brown now. I think you were supposed to put these in before you browned it. Hide it there. I can see smoke. Because we're burning down the house. Oh. <laughs> burning down the house. Yeah. Burning down the house. Burning down the house. Burning down the house. <laughs> uh -huh, what the hot end of them? <laughs> I don't know how to sing it. I don't remember. It's been too long ago. It's been too long ago since I heard Maybe that Maybe we'll put a link to that song down in the crank gate. Yeah, burning down the house. Yeah, I know who it is. It's uh, David Byrne, right? Uh, well, he, at the time, was in that group, uh, The Talking Heads. Yeah. 
Well, the temperature finally kicked on. Look at there. 34. It's got a ways to hit 100. And, of course, it's something frozen. seems wrong about it. Yeah, All it, was, it frozen. was frozen. So it might be that it's still a little frozen. It's still middle. a little frozen. I hate to say no. I bet the outside's gonna be burnt as hell. Who no. threw it out there? John ruining another they mail. Ruining another mail. Well, see, the thing is too, Keaton likes chicken. <laughs> So I'm going to have to give him his chicken and green beans with no gravy. But he don't like gravy. Because the gravy, i got to add heavy cream. Turn, he don't like any kind of gravy. Then it turn white. So your chicken, just chicken and green beans. No taste. I don't know, but this pork is taste smelling good. Now, I've heated all the ingredients up. I've browned the pork and heated everything. Now we're going to dump this here teriyaki glaze in there. Ooh, teriyaki glaze! This is what's, oh yeah, this makes it go from, uh, you know, Japanese to Vietnamese. I'd made that up, I really don't know. Yeah, he don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. He's That's, a liar. Yeah, I'm a big liar. I make that up. Liar, life has fire. Man on wire. Man on wire. Put my shirt off because it got fire. hot in here, and I was going to get a cup of coffee. Forgot, oh now I remember. God. Now I'm gonna make me make me a cup of coffee now. You may want to pay attention to, to making coffee. A lot yeah. of times we get to cooking and making coffee at the same time and we have to both talk yeah. to you at once. Hey Dad, why no. is uh, no. why is I like, like that? Why don't you turn the on that? I don't want heavy uh, cream in my coffee. In here, buddy. I like heavy sugar. We in don't my want coffee. to interrupt people with the So I put two we... scoops or it's two tablespoons into my coffee cup. Two tablespoons. Funny. And then I take the coffee and you pour it. It got a spout on it. That looks like really, I don't know. So I got a line in my cup says stop or it's going to overflow. Because I want to put my lid on it and Good you don't want to screw it and to have coffee go everywhere. Like a coffee comic there we oh. go. Oh. Now that's how you make coffee. Now the first thing you, next thing you want to do once you make your coffee is take a sip. Mmm, that's mighty fine coffee. <laughs> that's mighty fine coffee, Gerald. How'd you make that? <laughs> oh, we got... I thought we had a thumbs down, but it's a thumbs up. Somebody actually thumbs this shit up. Okay. Okay, it says, now season it with a pinch of salt and pepper and remove it from the burner. Okay, I'm gonna turn the burner off. Stir it up a little. You wanna make sure that teriyaki soaks in. That's good shit, that teriyaki glaze. A little salt. Okay. Blindly adding salt. There's a picture of what my food's supposed to look like when it's done. A little bit of cold Doesn't that look wonderful? Pepper. Well, pepper. I guess we'll see here in a little bit. I'm waiting for the temperature to come up for the chicken. Once it, it hits 165 to 170 degrees inside, it'll be done. I still got to finish my mushroom gravy for the chicken, but the temperature inside of the chicken is so low, I'm going to wait or the, the gravy is going to get old. Uh, the temperature in the chicken right now is only just went up 49 degrees and it got a long way to go. Okay, folks, we're getting close on my end because I'm a better cut than John. Uh, the 50. See, it's going up about, you know, once every less than a minute. But <laughs> That's what I'm talking It's the idea we got to wait all this time. He thinks he can get away. I could just come to the back of the camera and talk. <laughs> you don't need to see my face to know that it's me because I talk like an idiot. Okay. This at the end says bon appetit, which again is a French term. It's it's actually considered quite rude to say bon appetit before you eat in France. You want to remember that if you go over there. Why is it rude? It is. It's rude. Why? Why? It, it just is. Why? Why do they say it? Why they don't. We say it. Ah, oh, that 
What's their name cousin, huh? It's just like fortune cookies. They're not really Asian, but all the freaking places serve it because Americans are convinced it's an Asian thing. Yeah. You're only a child. That's what it says, huh? So you're going to take a bowl now and a spoon. Uh, we don't have a good spoon. And then we're going to put some in this bowl here. Ron's taking a cigarette break. Trust me, it's just white rice. But that, with that teriyaki glaze drizzling down over it, it's, it's pretty darn good. That's why a lot of times you keep doing it. Now, I don't want to eat too much because we're going to be uh, enjoying two meals. And we've already had two. I wonder why I'm fat. Then you're going to put some of this glazed pork, teriyaki glaze over the top of it. Well, I'm trying to get the right amount. Uh, you know, about so. About like so. Okay. And, then, and then what we want to do is remember when we pickled the vegetables? You want to throw some of them in there, too. Turn that bullshit down. I'm cooking. <laughs> That's OG Gruel. You guys got to go over there and look at his channel. He does some of the most amazing things. So we put some of that on there, you know, made it kind of vegetable-y. Not too much. Too much vegetable, no good. I need to take a little bit of cilantro. And put it on there. There you go. How about that? That's it. That is what they call pork bun. Pork bun me bowl. If it were actually a pork bon me bowl, this would be bread. But And pork bon me is actually a sandwich. I, I don't know how many times I've said that, but it's the truth. And <laughs> so, uh, what did I do with that? Oh, here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. And uh, we're also going to watch Brian, I mean OG. I'm live too, Dad. And Keaton's also live over there. Yeah. And that's why everything's probably grainy and going really slow. <laughs> oh, we're always on camera, on film. On me. Done already? Mm hmm. Space Go on. get some. Mm. I might as well so I take the chicken and go with it. Mm, now it's done. I'm lying right now. Mm. Mm hmm. That's at least a four. If that's not a five, it's at least a four. Let me try it. I'm going to try his cooking. Mm. Get ready to call the ambulance. Well, the last time I tried to eat something, I land on the floor. No, I'm just giving you a demonstration. I land on the floor, and I did this. Well, John was the main cook on that. What? I was just the helper. Chicken's up to 92. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep, the chicken made it up to 92 degrees. I think it'll be too much longer. Oh, sorry. Mm. We need a bigger clubhouse. Mm -hmm. People want to send us money to get a bigger clubhouse? Yeah. Go ahead. We can start a GoFundMe account. Yeah, we tried that before. Yeah. It's too much detail. You had to get the government involved. And they'll take half our money. Screw that. I don't want the government to have any money. You don't want to take money and give them more money. Mm. Buy a phone. Where the money go? The government. You didn't get no rights.
rice or vegetables, either one. I didn't see that one. Is it over there? Rice is in the pan. Vegetables in the mixing bowl. The cilantro is the garnish that goes on top. Mmm. The vegetables are cold. Yeah. They're pickled. Mmm. Yeah, it is. Mm. Taste that you. I don't know, everybody, all the department heads are texting. Somebody. I can't tell who. When you have bear kitchen, I can already tell them that they get pretty. Oh, yeah. When I build my house, I promise I am going to build a kitchen at least four times the size of the one here at the clubhouse. Well, if our plans ever come to fruition, to pay off the place, tear it down, mm -hmm. and all that's going to be is half of it bathroom and shower and the other half be all kitchen. We'll get a couple more stoves, stuff like that, so we can cook to our hearts content. Mainly we need a lot of counter space. Mm -hmm. Two stoves or three, else a real three. wide one stove. Three. No, three. Three stoves. Why three? Well sometimes other people want to cook too. Mm. Okay. Mm. Damn, John, I like this. Mm -hmm. You like it? You put rice in it? Oh, God. This is a lot better with the rice. In it. It's too strong without the rice, I think. Mm -hmm. That rice and the vegetables is what makes it good. And this is the pit review of what John did. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean. My dad made. Watch on there, too. You can go backwards on the live stream. And watch what you're doing. Hmm. I just got a message that Keaton's live. Oh, Keaton, you're live. Oh, I didn't know. You want to stay tuned because later, John and I are going to do some leather work. <laughs> well, we're going to make, like, I don't know, some kind of holster out of leather. Probably pencil, pencil holder. Or. I could just go watch Pug One do it and skip out. Mm. Battery low. Must not be charging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm thinking we're going to lose it. Folks, we're going to lose it. We're going to lose the stream. They're not going to be able to finish the phone. won't keep charging. I don't know why. There it is. You shut off? It's going. Oh, I'm trying to get the chicken. No, it's still on. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to add the heavy cream and Here. the uh, chicken broth to this stuff. And We'll uh, get the gravy going. Chicken's almost done. He's cooking. Okay. We got all of zero viewers. Hi, zero viewers. Jackass. At least I know God's watching us. Yeah, at least Jesus is watching us. Oh, no, he, watching us. he thinks we're interesting. Yeah. Here, I'll just take half of these. Ain't much left, but really. Take them all. I got something here. I think Keaton was going to get another bowl. Yeah, I no. think Keaton's got you know another bowl. There's one right. Ooh, just rice. Ooh, yeah. plain rice. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Move with Japan? It's not bad shape. I mean, I'd at least put soy or butter or something on it. Oh, it's perfect the way it is. Ew. That's why you've been fat. You want me to eat rice? Then you don't want me to eat rice. What the hell you want me to do? Anything that I can complain about. I don't know what's in this oven to burn, but it sure stinks. I'd say you're burning that chicken. No, mm. it smells like an old rag. Probably an old rag. chicken, you know, getting it out. Mm. Woo, a little warm in here, all that cooking. I wonder where we're at. We're high. 
hiding. Here, here, here's what you ought to do. What? You buy that later. Right There's one of them dirt houses. Might have to get started. Bags, dirt, everything else put into it. Make the bottom floor out of block and then make the top floor out of mud. That way you're sure that, you know, floods don't get to it and screw it all up.
How's it going? Oh, it's just about there. Putting a little bit of rosemary on the top. Okay, folks, we got all the no viewers still. I'm sure this is going to be probably one of the world's most popular things. Do not eat the beans. Do not eat the beans, he oh. says. Yeah. What ain't crunchy, burnt, chewy, the rest is just like gum. Gum. Gum, chew, chew, chew. Maybe we should have thought of it. First meal I ever made, I had to throw out. Chicken tastes good, but it's really tough. Yes. Hot. It's hot. He's probably gonna fall on the floor. <laughs> yeah, Wager's biting. Um. I actually like the taste of the chicken. Well, I can't do it. We should have thawed the chicken in the fridge. Mm -hmm. That, that would have been good. That would have been a you good meal. You got to get something out now for later on when you want to cook. I have to tell you, that would have been a good meal. But we didn't uh, thaw the meat first, and that was a mistake. Before we went to fill it, we should have brought the the meat out. Okay, I'll put uh, the next two meals out. 
I'm going to give this pork bon mi blah, 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 bowl five stars. Pork bon mi. Or pork ben mi. However you want to accent it. The next two meals are turkey and avocado tostitas. Tostadas. And chicken Diane. Oh man, two more chickens <laughs> That's a, that's the chicken that you were supposed to make. Really? Bone in, skin on. Yeah. Oh, is that what I made? Yeah. I thought that was weird. Usually the chicken's breast meat, no bone, no skin. Yeah. So, we need turkey. There's the turkey. And we need chicken. We'll have to pull it out of the other thing. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and start it thawing. But if we go to IGA or town for anything, yeah. we'll go get like chicken with the bone and the skin on. So it's the right thing. I don't think it matters. Not that much, probably. I don't know. It's probably why it tasted good, though. Because you know, the bone and the skin is the best part. Uh, oh, we was we were eating. Uh, oh, nobody's watching. We were eating a bunch of crap. We just collect a bunch of crap. Don't want a food review. Reviewing it. Never mind. Never mind. It's done. We're about ready to end this podcast or yeah, whatever you call it. It ain't doing no good. It ain't doing no good. We're sitting here watching somebody else's videos instead. Who's we watching now? Oh no, War Room. I know who this is. You know, Muscle Mike put something up yesterday, or maybe it was today. I haven't seen that yet. Tomorrow, the TVD reports do. Okay, we're going to go watch Muzzle Mike. If we can find you. Ken. He's not watching us. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'll shut that sucker off. Yeah, I think we will. We're going to shut that sucker off because you guys don't care and we don't either. So, uh, so how do you stop this thing? I just slam it on the floor. I think you do it to what happened before. I put it in my pocket the last time it stopped. You want to stop streaming? Yeah.